Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm going to show you how to make handoff work between your devices. Now, the first thing you should do is make sure that your devices are signed into the same iCloud account on all of your devices. Once you've made sure of that, you have to go to Bluetooth on your devices. So on your Mac, you have to go to open Bluetooth preferences by right clicking or tapping with two fingers on the Bluetooth icon and uh, opening this window up. Now on your device, you have on your iPhone or what iPad or whatever device you're running, you should um, it's currently, I don't know, it stopped working. Let me just fix that right away. Okay, so now it's running again. Um, you go to settings, Bluetooth, and make sure that your devices are listed down. So here I have my iPad and my MacBook listed here. So in Bluetooth, my iPhone, yes, it, it pops up. And if I just go to my iPad and open up Bluetooth, my iPad 2 should pop up there. Yeah, so you should be opening Bluetooth on both of your devices to make sure that they are visible to each other. That is not the case for iOS as the devices will be saved there. So you don't have to open Bluetooth on your iPad to make sure that your iPhone can see it, but you have to do that to make sure that your Mac can see it. So once you finished that, you you go to your uh, photos maybe and whatever you open up a photo. Maybe I took this one earlier today, and you airdrop it to yourself. So here I can see, I think, yes, so I can see my devices. So I might can see my iPhone and now I can see my iPad. As you can tell here, it says MacBook and iPad. So I switched off my iPad. That's why it's gone. But uh, now that you finished doing that, you, you're basically done. And all you have to do, as you can see, I have one missed call there, and it's popping right here under FaceTime. And one thing also you can do is um, maybe run, let's say, Calendar. And if you run calendar, uh, it should pop up right here and it shows calendar from iPhone. And uh, let's maybe do it vice versa. And it should, yes, it's come from the run calendar here. And if you go to your app switcher, it should pop up here. It has to be an active window for it to, so if I switch, it's gone, right? Yes. So if it's an active window, it will pop up right there. As you can see, it says it's coming from my MacBook Pro. And uh, if you lock your phone and open it again it's right there on the side and you swipe up and you open up the calendar so that's it guys it's pretty simple and uh, thank you for watching if you liked it please hit that like button if it helped you please tell me in the comments or also hit that like button and um, if anything doesn't work well or you need further assistance, um, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make my best to make a video about it pretty soon. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.